Greetings and welcome to the ISSA Innovation and Technology Committee Micro Learning Series. This season, as the shadows lengthen and the veil thins, we invite you to embark on a journey. A journey not into the supernatural, but into the often scary world of data-driven decision-making. Many organizations feel lost in the data darkness. Where are you on your quest to harness your information? We've identified six stages on the journey to becoming data-driven. Let's explore where the ghosts of bad data may be haunting your halls. Stage one is impromptu data use. Companies here are barely collecting data or storing it for analytics. Any information that is gathered is often done manually. This can result in low quality data that is unreliable for true decision making. You're trying to make critical choices based on guesswork. Next, we have stage two fragmented. Here, organizations collect more data, but face a new problem, data silos. Each business unit works exclusively with its own data and may not share information easily with other departments. This lack of collaboration makes it nearly impossible to make data-informed, company-wide decisions. Your data is trapped. As we hit stage three, known as normalized, companies are able to collect and use more data. At this stage, companies have established a secure and reliable central data repository. This foundation includes well-defined management, basic governance, and a basic system of reporting. Employees can generally access the data they require, giving them a steady map for the first time. Then comes stage four managed. The company evolves beyond just basic reporting to have more comprehensive self-service and governance structures. This welcoming environment encourages users to explore data in depth, even if they have little or no background in data science. At this stage, the company truly begins to realize the positive effects of decision-making backed by reliable information. Approaching true data mastery, we hit stage five, advanced. This stage is defined by a robust data science infrastructure. Organizations can access sophisticated reports and quickly deploy new data products that respond to emerging business needs and market shifts. Critically, these companies have also focused on fostering a data-curious culture with strong organizational buy-in from every level. Finally, you have reached the peak, stage six, data-driven. Information-based decision-making is now deeply rooted in the company culture and all business processes. Every stakeholder can seamlessly create reports using real-time data to gain key insights. The organization now has the ability to anticipate emerging customer and business needs and target internal inefficiencies. Data is fully democratized, integrated, and governed. The perfect state of organizational clarity and functional data. Before we move on, let's take a quick look back at the six stages on the journey to data-driven success. Let's do a quick review of the six stages. Stage one, impromptu decisions are based on guesswork. Data is manual and unreliable. Stage two, fragmented data is collected, but it's stuck in silos, preventing company-wide understanding. Stage three, normalized. You've established a secure data repository and basic reporting structure. Stage four, managed. You offer self-service analytics and governance, encouraging users to explore deeper. Stage five, advanced. You possess a robust data science infrastructure and a pervasive data curious culture. Stage six, data-driven, information-based decision-making is fully integrated, governed, and predictive across the entire organization. You have already learned a lot about the data journey, but how do you apply that knowledge? Well, the first thing to figure out is which stage is your company in right now? but no need to be scared because we have your back. As an ISSA member, we want to invite you to the ISSA show North America in Las Vegas, November 10th to the 13th. This show hosts over 650 exhibitors offering a transformative experience, featuring innovative cleaning solutions, industry best practices, and unmatched networking opportunities. Propel your cleaning business to new heights. As an added opportunity, the ISSA Innovation and Technology Committee is hosting a unique working session at the show to help your data journey. Join our cohort learning experience where attendees choose a table based on their organization's current stage. Register today at ISSAshow.com. Thanks for sticking with us so far. Let's start your data journey now. As part of the microlearning series, we want to bring you an actionable plan that you can start on today. This will be the first exercise in the series aimed at helping you understand where you are on your data journey. This four-step exercise will help you identify, visualize, and analyze your current system and operational flows. This is the foundation to understanding where your data comes from, how it moves through your business, and how it's being used. Step one, understand and map your current flow. Start by identifying all your systems, CRMs, spreadsheets, scheduling apps, even non-systems that bridge a gap, such as a manual spreadsheet. Step two, map out your operational flow. Write out the entire operational journey, 
From marketing and sales, to hiring and payment, to the entire customer flow, ask yourself, what's manual? Where is data being collected more than once? Are there bottlenecks or blind spots? Step three, create your ERD. Here you will build an entity relationship diagram, a map showing how data flows between all your systems. This step is critically important to merging your operational flow with your software ecosystem. You may have already have a program available with your current subscription such as Visio, or you can use a free tool like Draw.io to create your ERD. It's important that you accurately represent the flow of data. This should include any input steps, such as a website form, or transfers between systems such as moving that lead from your website form to Salesforce. Make sure to show the direction of those data flows and visually represent if those flows are manual, partially automated, or fully integrated you should walk away with an artifact that visually shows your full ecosystem. The final step is to analyze your ERD. With your map complete, look at each operational area. Where do you see inefficiencies? Note every point where data is manually entered, as these are prime areas for human error. Identify where you are losing data visibility. Are there key handoffs between systems that require someone to download a report and email it? That's a blind spot and a time waster. This ERD isn't just a diagram, it's your blueprint for preparing your systems for transformation. Need some help and want to talk through your data journey? Data Insights Consulting is here to help. Reach out at datainsightsconsulting.co for a free data consultation and preferred ISSA member pricing. From all of us at the ISSA Innovation and Technology Committee, have a fun and safe Halloween and don't let your data scare you away. Stay tuned for the next micro learning and we hope to see you at the ISSA Show North America.